Hey guys, in this video what we're going to learn is how to create a setup project for a web application. Uh, so we can install the web application on IIS and the setup will do everything for us like creating the, the directory, the um, <coughs> set it up as an application associated with an uh, application pool. So I guess it's like pretty neat feature but uh, not all people use it so also I'm going to create a, a separate video on how to do it manually without the setup project so let's go to Visual Studio and I have this my test that I did before so I'm going to open a new Visual Studio What we're going to do is um, a project, a web uh, application, a speed of network application. And we're going to use NetFramer in this case. And it will be a web forms application. It can be any of these flavors. I mean, this is just the sample that I'm going to use. but. Uh, you can use any of the these templates. And I'm going to click OK. And let's compile. And run. So this is the web application running, and basically it's a template uh, that Visual Studio provides for for us. So what we're going to do is we need an installer so we can give that to our customer, so they can just follow what we start and install this in IIS. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new project, and this is going to be. Um, see other project types Visual Studio Installer and Web Setup Project and here I'm going to create my web app uh, actually you can name it as you want and now we have the setup project. This is a little bit different than the Windows setup project. So basically we only have the web application folder. So what we're going to do in this, for this folder, we're going to right click and add the project output. And then we're going to do the primary output of the web project too, which is this project that we have here. Good, but uh, the primary output of this, if we see the properties, this is a uh, class library. So the primary output is the um, the only a library compiled, which will be called Web Application 2.dll. So uh, then, what happened with all these other um, files that are in here that we need to run the application, like default ASP X? those won't be included so we need to do something else so let's go here and also we need to add uh, project output and we need to add the content files because if you see like let's check this the pages this page properties is is marked as content. So now it will include the ASPX files. Good, we have now the primary output and the content. Um, basically, 
uh, if you're running Visual Studio 2010 and 2012, that will be it. But in this case, we're running Visual Studio um, 2017. So it's using Rosalind compiler. And we need to add some files. Um, so this can work. So basically, if you go to this, to the folder, and you go to the bin folder, uh, you have this folder, Crossly. And these files are needed by the application. So what we need to do is add them also in the bin folder in the setup. So in here we have the bin folder. What we need to do is add a web folder. And the name of the folder is going to be Crossly. And then we need to add all these files. For that, we go here and add file. We go to that folder and we include all the files there. So now we have the bin and we have the Roslyn folder. And now there is uh, this template is quite old. This, the setup project is a quite, quite old template. So right now, if you run it, let's try to run it. Well, uh, before that, before we run it, let's do some changes, properties. Uh, we don't have an icon right now. Or let's try to put an icon. I think I have one in my des desktop. No, I don't have an icon. So let's forget about the icon for now. The author is going to be Jose Manuel. Which is me. Uh, the description is going to be web app. Uh, the company name, Bit Frameworks. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, I want to restore the IIS service after I install the application. And I want to remove the previous versions. And what we're going to call this installer is going to be and that's it. Uh, right now, let's save this and run it. It won't run. Uh, let's build. Uh, because right now, since the, the, the project template is a little bit outdated. The project template, I mean the template for the setup project. Uh, the requirements that the project have are like quite old requirements. Like it needs to have IIS 5, for example, or something like that. And right now IIS is 7 or 8 in Windows 10. So let's do, try to install. See, setup requires internet information server 5.1 or Windows XP or higher. And you, I mean, you're forced to close. So right now, what you need to do is go here and you can view launch conditions. And here, this is the, the uh, launch condition, which basically are based on the registry. Uh, for IIS minor and IIS uh, major, which are the main minor and major version support. So in this case, you can go to these in the registry and check the values and put the correct values. But in my case, I'm only going to remove it. I don't need them. And also, I think that this condition um, which is the IIS condition. It says here like IIS version is greater than five and IIS minor is greater than one. So, or IIS major is greater or equal to six. So this condition might also prevent, so prevent us to install the application. So we're going to try to install it again, but um, 
it might not run also. Yes. So, oh no, we need to compile. And then we publish. No, no, we install first, sorry. The same. So basically, uh, in this case, I'm going to remove this launch condition. And because I don't need it. In, in, I guess in a production case, you will have to check the values, be sure of what values they have, and put the correct values. But in this case, we're not going to do to make it simpler. So let me show you my IIS. So here I have web setup one from another application that I created before. And let's try to run this one. Oh, um, also we need to run the studio as administrator, otherwise this won't run because you need to have administrative privilege in order to modify the IIS. So I'm going to close this and open one as administrator. So let's go back to our project, which is this one. And let's try to run it again. Now it's running, we go do next. And it asks which website are we going to, on which website do we want to set up this application? So in here you see I have two websites, bit and default website. So in this case we're going to do in default website. What is the name of the, the um, virtual directory? In this case, this name is what we put on the on the pro properties of the setup project. We're going to use like YouTube example, and on which application pool? It showed me all the application pool. I'm going to use the default application pool. And then I go to my IIS and I refresh. And on my website, the full website, I have the YouTube example now. And if I browse it, it's running. See, this is the app that we have on the uh, on the installer. And we can go here and explore. And this is the folder with the bin with the Rosalind folder and with the content files which are this one so basically that's it um, if you don't if your visual studio doesn't have the the templates for 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 create a setup project uh, there is another video that i have created on my channel um, for that so i don't have the url right now but i'm going to put to put it on the description and that's it i'm going to create a separate video on how to do a manual install. So, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.